Donald and the Lost Tarpaulin. Donald and Douglas help with the goods trapping on Duck's branch line. In the summer, when the weather is fine, they enjoy it. But they don't like it so much in wet weather. No engine likes being rained on. Henry even stayed in the tunnel to avoid it. But, because there's no turntable in the Duck's branch, the tender engines have to travel backwards. Tender first. That's no good enough, Donald grumbled to Duck one wet day. How can the fat controller no put a turntable up here, eh? He probably doesn't think it's worth it just for Oliver and I, replied Duck. Hm, <laughs> snorted Donald. He should try riding in my cab on a day like this. Sorry for you. You've got a proper bank to your cab that keeps the rain away when this coming down in torrents. Do give me a dinner of anything. In an effort to keep some of the rain off, the twins' crews rigged up tarpaulins from the back of the cab roof down to the front of the tender, which acted as a sort of tent. It helped, but when it was windy, the tarpaulin would flap and make itself a nuisance. But at last, the weather improved. It did so suddenly, at a time when Donald's driver and fireman had to make a quick turnaround at the big station. The fireman only had time to bundle the tarpaulin roughly into a roll and put it out of the way on the back of the tender. Then, they hurried to the yard to take water for the next journey. Just before they set out with their goods train, the fireman, who was shoveling coal forward from the back of the tender, noticed that the tarpaulin had disappeared. Did you move it? He asked the driver. The driver shook his head. Oh, I'm going to see as soon as you took it down. Oh, I can't bother, said the fireman. It must have fallen off in the yard. Let's hope it doesn't rain before we find it. They reached Alsborough safely, but on the way back, they had to wait outside the middle station. Oh, chinks, Donald complained after a while. I'm awfully thirsty. His driver opened the injector, but no water came from the tender into the boiler. Try yours, the driver told the fireman. He did, but it made no difference. Oh, crevins, Donald groaned. I've got such a pain. Your injectors have failed, said his driver. There's nothing else for it. We'll have to drop the fire and then try and report it. Meanwhile, Donald's fireman had climbed to the back of the tender to check the level of the water in the tank. He lifted the filler cap and peered inside. Well, I'll be, he exclaimed. So that's where your tarpaulin went. Seizing a long steel pole, he plunged into the water and managed to pull the sodden tarpaulin away from the feed pipe which it was blocking. In no time at all, water was soon flowing freely back into Donald's boiler and he was able to carry on back to Titmouth. But, when they reached the yard, the driver and fireman had a difficult job of fishing the tarpaulin out of Donald's tank. When they finished, they were very wet, very hot, and very cross. The fireman vowed never to store the tarpaulin near the water filler again, and the driver intends to make sure he never does. <laughs>